What's up guys? Got a short little video for you today just going to show off the update that was out last night. So it is pretty much just Xenaris Batch 2. Um, let's sort of just get started. So you have a lot more features, a lot of quality life improvements to the city. Um, you'll, you'll notice like a lot of things. For example, you have a spinning wheel here. You got a dude who can tan hides. Um, there are a few more shops. There's also an Iron Man shop now. Um, so before I really get into the update, I want to just say one thing. There are a lot of Xenaris only Ironmen. Are any online right now? Yeah, it looks like possibly three, maybe two. Xenaris was coded before, like, like I think uh, people were people were insinuating I was doing all these changes just for them. That's that's I, I, Xenaris was was an update before Xenaris Ironman, obviously. So there was always the intention to do a lot of these things. Now. Would I have added an Iron Man dude here before? Probably not, but it would make sense, you know, it makes sense to be here. Um, so a lot of the things were added, were added with the with the thought process. Would I have, you know, would I, w would I do it? And, and that's, and that's where we decided. So I'm willing to make any changes that would be done. And I, I wanted to make this more like a city. Uh, for example, you have these altars over here. Um, you know, I think, I, I think the example I used was like, well, okay, what if you're like 90, you know, you're, you're 67 prayer. You're going to go home to get your prayer back? You know, sip a potion like a nerd? No, just click the damn altar that should be in the city. So that's where the logic behind a lot of these came from. You have a sinister chest, a crystal chest over here, vote booth. You got your... I also removed two trees, if anybody remember. There was actually two trees. Like these these old trees right here were like right in the middle of the bank. So I just removed those just to make it a little more, um, you know, open and whatnot. Um, there was a few more shops. Nothing changed down that direction. We have um, some cows over here, just a couple chilling near the farm, same with the sheep. Pearl Pearl is the only thing that is not finished. Um, I just didn't want to rush it, and I'd rather, I'd rather, like, I'd rather wait, so uh, that's, that's the only reason that didn't come out yet. Uh, everything is roughly the same there. The uh, Slayer Master's trade option should work now, uh, before it didn't. I don't need to show you that. I'm sure you can just take my word for it. The training grounds have added. Uh, so the logic behind these training grounds this is the one where I'm, I, I would imagine most people would be confused. A dust devil chilling here. This was always the plan. The plan was that like the fairies outsourced a bunch of monsters to sort of train their own kind to kill them. So that's the logic. Is they want to they want to train fairies on how to kill mammoths. So that's why there's just a bunch of random monsters. Um, I couldn't really, I, 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 I couldn't really think of which ones I wanted. I just knew that some of the main ones, like Abyssal Demons and whatnot. Um, and then there's, like, some Elf Warrior and Tazar representative, just so you could kill him. Uh, you also have some stalls over here, a just general stall that's, that requires level one, and it's just, it's just general items. Um, you have a melee store, um, you got some men. Can, does pickpocketing one work? I know it did at one point. I need to re-add that. Uh, not that it matters, but... I do think pickpocketing is something we can do in the future to improve thieving. Um, jewelry style is, I think, 75, and it does work. A wise old man is available here. Um, that's it for the fair guns, and then you can use this to get back to wherever you want to go. Um, so then the last real bit that was changed was the evil chickens were added. And it seemed, somebody said, I mean, need to add more spawns. I don't know. I think this will be fine. Maybe I do need to add more, though, just because I, I guess if two people are here, it kind of can be a problem. Uh, let me show you their drops. Evil chicken. Evil chicken. Um, so the main real... Th I guess the main thing you're going for, other than, you know, if any of these other items, you know, float your boat, is the bird's eggs. You can actually use the bird's eggs on this uh, altar here. There's also one in the Warriors, uh, not the Warriors Guild, the Woodcutting Guild. Um, and that one works too, but you can use them on here and you will get a big bird's nest. Also in this update, uh, normal woodcutting can give you bird's nest. It actually gives you a different one, a smaller bird's nest, even though they look the same and have the same name. You can tell by the IDs, but um, we'll trade these in. I'll show you kind of what they look like. So you get a good chunk of seeds or you get a crystal key or something. Key ring is an option. One mil cash. Uh, I actually decided all this on the, on the uh, high. I decided this all on stream, so um, some people should remember that. But actually, doing woodcutting now will give you—I uh, think it's one in fifty for a chance of just a smaller bird's nest, and then you can get the eggs from the bird's nest, and you can also get eggs directly from the evil chickens. So definitely a cool monster. Uh, Mythal dragons. Um, 
so they've gotten a, a, a more updated drops that are sort of in tune with the uh, with Adamant and whatnot. I, I I didn't do it exactly like old school just because I I figured I'd rather do it something similar to Adamant's, and that's kind of what we have here. If you look at their table, you can also get the Vorkath key from them. Uh, Master Kochi booms are still there. People have been wondering about the Trude Bones and the Xenarius on the Iron Man. I don't think that that thing makes sense because isn't the whole point? You're like honoring the ancestors, the fallen barbarians by like you know paying your respects and creating a pirate ship to to bury the bones. I, I I just didn't think it made sense for the city. That's why I didn't do it. If someone can try to like, I mean, like I'm willing to I'm willing to hear somebody out, but as of right now, I didn't do it. Um, the coal over here works. That's you know no one cares. No one gives a shit about that. Uh, the furnace works. It functions as a furnace now, and there's also an anvil over there. Um, uh, updated, uh, that's pretty simple. I don't think that's even worth showing. Uh, to, to, to our options got updated. That, that's, that's one of those things where, like, like, I wanted it, but I don't know if anybody else does. The golden hammer works now. Uh, let me show you a little bit of what that does. So, for example, is that the ID? No, it's, it's something 2949. It is 2949, wow. Item uh, 42551. Uh, so, for example, you have an augmented rapier, and you want to trade this rapier. You don't want it to be augmented anymore, and you don't want to go through the effort of making a dissolver. Golden hammer. Boom. It, 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 takes, it turns into a normal hammer. So what this does is it disenchants things and takes off the enchantment. So for luck of the, if you have an eternal luck of the pugs and you want to make it a tradable luck of the pugs, that'll work. If you have onyx jewelry and you want the onyx back, that'll work. So this is definitely good for like Iron Man that only have like one Zenite shard. If you want to torture one day, you want to anguish the next, that will be for you. And then a silent gear, once more, a silent gear is added. That'll be useful too to get some of the Dark Stones. I believe it's going to be, um, you get a third back. So I think it takes nine to make the gloves. You only get three back. So just keep that in mind. And in, and, and for reference, you don't get any of the um, components. Like you don't get the, you don't get the Eternal Gem back. You don't get the components, you just get, you know, this item. So, uh, that's that. Uh, anything else I'm missing on the update? I think that's it. Oh, loot balloons have been improved and more spawns have been added. There's actually a pretty cool drop that they have now, and I'm sure you can guess what it is, given, given the server. But, uh, I hope somebody gets it. It's one in a hundred. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.